I play quite a bit of chess, and oftentimes after I finish a game, I like to use the game review, which most people use to see their brilliant moves, but anyone who's used chess.com before has probably seen this dialogue. So being the idiot I am, I decided that instead of paying £10 a month, I would just develop my own game review. So we actually need to make a chessboard. It should be easy. And you can have like the moves of the game down here, I guess. Oh, that's actually beautiful. So currently this is what we have. The idea is that you enter the PGN here. What I need to do now is actually load Stockfish in. So the first thing we'd have to do is pass the PGN given by the user into its individual moves. Stockfish would then play out the game and produce evaluations for each position. The idea is that you would be able to calculate the differences in evaluation as a result of each move, which could be used to determine a classification. I've downloaded stockfish.js here, the UCI protocol. Well, this HTML document, try that command then. Nice, but like, what's the evaluation? We need to extract the actual evaluation. I have no idea why it's saying mate and two for white because black is completely winning. I'm not sure what happened there, but we've got all the evaluations for each move now. So here it is. It does look like it's generating classifications now. E6 there was a mistake. Couldn't tell you why. I should actually distribute book moves. So at this point, development was going really well. I added the evaluation bar because somehow I forgot to do that, and even added a dialog where you could directly select games from your chess.com account to analyse. But there was still one thing left that I knew I was eventually going to have to do, which was implementing brilliant moves. Okay, so at this point I'd already been working on the app for like four weeks, so I pretty much went silent to focus on coding. The algorithm would look through all of your pieces and compare the number of attackers and defenders to see whether or not it had been sacrificed. So now it looks like the bishop has in fact been sacrificed, but we actually still don't have enough information because this is a piece that was just exchanged for a queen. So it's not really a sacrifice as much as it is a capture of a free queen. And what about danger levels? To put it simply, it was a nightmare to develop and I'd much rather never touch that code again. But finally, after over a month of active development, the app was more or less complete, so now it's time to play a game. Right guys, we're gonna win the game. So I'm hoping to get a brilliant move so that we can find it on the game report. Bishop d4. I think knight here is just winning. It's so winning. But I can go here. Ain't no way he defended that. Do I save? Bishop b5. If he takes, then I have mate! My knight is trapped in the corner. Look at this bishop. It's doing nothing. Alright, let's game report this then. So queen f6, apparently a mistake. Yeah, bishop d4 has to be a mistake. Uh, seems to be a blunder here. So is that because of... It is. The knight takes e7 is apparently a mistake because he has the move d6. Okay, well, I've actually been robbed of a brilliant here. And then of course black plays the unfortunate move knight d6. Well, there we have it then lads. Game report. If you want to use it, it is live at chess.winnercat.uk. So, um, yeah.